I grew up in a very economically and socially depressed area. And, and you know, life's grimy up there. And I think there's a reaction that say, you know what, screw this. This isn't going to be my life. This is an acceptable way for me to spend my time. I'm going to go and try and get myself a bigger piece of the pie or more. And that's what I decided. I looked at it and said, I want to... I, I, I see film as something that's really important to me because in my life that's lacking a lot, film is somewhere where I can have access to all that beauty and poetry and big ideas and all of that kind of stuff. So it's really important to me. So I decided that is going to be my escape from like existential crisis and a very dreary way to spend my time on this earth. A lot of people in that same environment, a lot of my family included, decided they were going to go into a crime to es escape the same things. Now, had I not found that affinity for film, I 100% would have been a gangster. No question. My father is a career-long gangster, 35 years, never made, an, never made a legitimate dollar in his life. You know, I have my cousins, every, like, I'm telling you, I, I know it sounds funny sitting in the Beverly Hills Hotel in the Four Seasons, but I'm just telling you straight, 100% I would have been a gangster if I wasn't an actor. So it's, it, it isn't, and, and when you look at the psychology of a lot of people's journeys to this, it's not too dissimilar, you know, to, to being that. And, you know, there, there are certain things that you do environmentally, like I'm a straight man, totally heterosexual, have never had any feelings of confusion at all, and yet through the environment that I live in, I have kissed many men because I played a gay guy on a TV show. And so that was something I never would have anticipated doing, but it was sanctioned by my peers and in the environment that I was in, which is exactly the way crime works. You around a bunch of guys, you, you, my buddies that have committed murder never thought they were gonna commit murder. They were in an environment where something happened and something happened in an environment and it was sanctioned and it was like, listen, this is, these are the bad guys. They, you know, have done a lot of bad stuff. He probably deserves to go. Your friends are telling you, you gotta do this, bro. There's no way out of this. And all of a sudden you commit murder. It's the same thing as kissing a man. It's something you never thought you were going to do, but environmentally, it gets sanctioned. It's the same thing like a guy never, like, necessarily who was a soldier ever thought he was going to kill someone, but it gets sanctioned, you know? And it's okay because the people around you tell you it's okay. And that's just how all of life works, you know? So I, I really, I'm really interested in the correlation because I actually also know several gangsters that have become actors now that are full-time actors. I mean, I'm, I'm talking a dozen guys like that, you know? And so I, I think that there's, oddly enough, although they couldn't be further from each other, a lot of similarity in the psychology.